What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today another very exciting Samsung video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get this uh, cool little arrow on your lock screen, which actually does something pretty useful. A lot of people have been asking me about this. They've seen it on my phone when I do videos. And I'm gonna show you guys what it does and how to enable it today. Before we get into that, I do wanna remind you guys, we're coming up on the big Galaxy S23 Ultra launch. And if you guys are looking to upgrade next week, we're only a week away. One way you can save some money towards your new flagship phone is by switching your wireless service to my partners at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just $15 a month. Some of the plans that they have, they have several options. A four gigabyte plan, which is $45 for three months of service. The 10 gigabyte plan, $60 for three months of service. 15 gigs, $75 for three months. And I think the best value is the unlimited plan, which is $90 for three months of service. All their plans come with unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and also mobile hotspot included as well. It's very, very simple to switch. You can either get an eSIM, which I think is a pretty nice option, or if you wanna go old school, they'll send you out a physical SIM kit and a SIM tool. You pop out your old SIM, you pop in the Mint SIM, and you're on your way to some great savings. Uh, I've had great service here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. I've been using the unlimited plan for about four months. I know a lot of you guys have tried it, but if you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend giving it a shot in your primary device or your secondary device just to give it a test drive and see how it goes. And right now, if you guys are interested, if you go to my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer, I am giving you guys a free smartphone case of your choice if you sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. I am doing this on my own accord. Mint is not doing this directly. I'm doing it as a thank you to everyone for signing up. So go to my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer. Sign up today, it's also in the pen comment description, and I thank Mint Mobile for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and get into it today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys, uh, again, what I'm gonna show you is how to get this, see that yellow arrow I have right there? I'll show you how to enable that. So as usual, it's gonna be a good lock module, so if you don't have Samsung's good lock, make sure you go into the Galaxy Store and download it. If you don't have good lock available in your region, they have expanded it to a lot more regions lately, but if you don't have it, you can also download the APK and install over VPN, or you can also use NiceLock and FindLock, which are some launchers that allow you to launch these applications on your Galaxy phone. So once you're in there, you're gonna go to the LifeUp side of GoodLock. It's split into two parts. Basically, LifeUp are things that make your life easier when using your Galaxy phone. Makeup are things that allow you to customize the look and feel of your Galaxy phone. But this one kind of lets you do both. So if you download the module called NotiStar, what this does is it actually lets you look at your notifications that you've received in a separate folder on your lock screen. And you also get additional details on those notifications, expanded details that you wouldn't get elsewhere. So pretty important, pretty useful feature that I think you guys will like. Now this is what it looks like. It actually saves your notifications in the app itself. Also on the lock screen, using that yellow arrow that I just showed you guys right there. If you swipe up here, that's gonna take you right into the same notification view where you can clear all your notifications, things like that. Now you can also change the settings when you first set up the app up here, go to settings, it's gonna prompt you to activate Notistar first. And then there's a couple of options that you have here. First of all, you go to the applications list and you can separate out which applications you want to allow to show notifications in Notistar. I highly recommend triaging this by notifications that you wanna get more details on that you wanna be saved for later review. Uh, I often save my emails and a lot of my shipping notifications and my shopping emails from Amazon and eBay, places like that, because I get a lot of packages doing YouTube, so I can review them later in case I need to. Messaging is also another good one. If you use Google Chat, if you use WhatsApp, if you use Facebook Messenger, saving those for later review is great because then you don't clutter up your notification tray up here, right? It's very simple to then go down there. They're all stored and they're not taking up space up here, your notification and quick settings. So choose some apps that you wanna choose. The other thing you can do if you prefer, I don't really care for this myself. I don't have a particular use, but you can go in here and add a filter name, a keyword and application list. You can actually make this a little finer. Like if you wanna say, all the notifications that have a specific keyword go into my Notistar folder, uh, you could do that too. I personally find just choosing the apps uh, is pretty easy for me. 
You can also choose if you want to show it on the lock screen or not. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that. It seems like the most natural thing to do because usually your notifications are on the lock screen anyway. This just allows you to have that extra option of swiping them away in the quick panel and then they're all still stored inside NotiStar and you have instant access to them. The other thing is you can choose to store your notifications, right, for a set period of time. And the really awesome thing about this is you can choose it for seven days, 30 days, six months, or a year, um, or no limit at all. Um, obviously, the longer you store it, the more data it's gonna take up on your device, obviously, because they're storing this in the local storage on your Samsung phone. But being able to store these for a nice period of time, I usually choose a month, or maybe during a busy period, I'll choose six months, so I can go back and review notifications, like I said, email, shipping notifications. Uh, and then the last thing is, you can actually edit the start icon, which is that arrow I showed you guys, on your lock screen and change the color. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have the rainbow color picker that a lot of Samsung apps have. It just has white, black, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. But you can change the transparency. I keep mine to the, the minimal transparency um, and then you can just save the icon there. So overall, I personally find this to be a very useful feature. Like I said, uh, being able to get all my notifications at a glance just by swiping up on the lock screen Super awesome and something that I really enjoy being able to use. Uh, it's a feature that for a long time, I wasn't really sure what the usefulness of it was until I started using it to triage stuff that I was looking for later that I'd already swiped away from, you know, my, my general notifications in the quick panel. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification video, future videos like this. You guys are also going to get lots of Galaxy S23 and S23 Ultra content coming up soon. Again, if you guys are interested in switching to my partners at Mint Mobile, get premium wireless starting at $15 a month and a free phone case sent from me, not Mint, but from me as a thank you gift, you can go to mintmobile.com slash Springer, sign up for a three month plan today, get in touch with me on Twitter via DM or on my email, which is on my YouTube page, and I'll get you guys out of case. Appreciate you guys checking it out. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.